much better. Just drawing it in a bit. Right, you've got to be careful along here because there are some wires that run along here to the rear lights and so on. So where I've put some screws in, um, <coughs> I'm just going to get a piece of uh, some off cuts, that cut some little cubes of this insulation. I'm just going to push them onto the back of the screws just so it protects anything inside and also stops any cold bridging that might occur. So uh, happy days. But now I've got to countersink the bolt holes, get the bolts. Get the bolts in. mil bolts but what you should have what you should have in all fixings bolted fixings really in the in the van is um, these anti-shake washers anti-vibration washers I mean everything's vibrating particularly when you come around to do your electrics because apparently according to the the uh, electrical installers website biggest cause of fires in connections it's loose connections so um, uh, but just for the fixings yeah, going to use these anti-shake washers and just to make extra doubly sure I'm also going to use the nylock nuts which I did with the other button and the nylock butts, uh, nuts are the ones with the rubber inserts in so that as you tighten them up um, they're also not likely to come loose Happy days. Right, so that is well and truly on there. So I can screw anything to that. I can either screw um, into the wood or I can screw right through the wood and the metal to get me a even better fixing. But I did um and ah about whether to go for the tube one or the tube two. And I spoke to a van conversion company who done the window. Um, well, they're not a van conversion company. They're a, a window company that do a bit of van conversions. Pro windscreens in Thurrock. And um, they do bits of van conversions. And um, the guy there said, the tube one would be fine. Um, and, it, you know, because it's whatever I'm going to bolt on is probably going to be bolted to that end floor. So... Um, that should be fine and I don't lose as much room so uh, yeah we'll chuff with that um, so I'm putting some extra because I put the tube of ones on I'm putting some extra of this uh, PIR insulation in which is going to give me um, 
it's going to give me a lot more uh, a lot more insulation and and sound I suppose so I will chuck with that so right, that's time right. for a break right Pouring with rain. We're well, not pouring, but raining. When in doubt, brew up. I think it's an old army sign. Cup of tea and a vape. I think this is the first time I've actually sat down in the van with the doors closed, or partially closed. Wind is doing its job nicely. Well pleased with that. One thing to note: it took me um, it's, it took me weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to decide what window to have. I kept going from you know I kept going through all sorts of decisions. We go with the camper van window, the Sites S4 because of this, and I go through the the bonded window because of that, and oh, just honestly, honestly, it is, you know. And I don't think there's any right or wrong answer, but I like the look of the bonded windows from the outside. But I think function-wise, the Sites are much better. So, for example, take a day like today. It's raining. If you have a sights window that opens outwards like that, you can have the window open uh, a bit, and no rain's really going to get in. Plus, it's got built-in blinds, built-in blackout screen, uh, built-in um, fly net. Whereas this type, although I like the look of them much better. Um, you know, you can have the window open, but if it was raining heavy, see, look, the rain's coming in. And ventilation in a motorway, particularly in the heat and the rain, is ultra important. You must have ventilation in the van. If Imagine it's humid, pouring the rain outside, and you've got to have every window shut. With no vents, you, you'd be well. You won't be in there very long. So, uh, got to be able to open a window at least a little bit and have ventilation when I get the uh, the roof lights in. But this is a good test actually, because like daytime, overcast. Um, no vents in yet. And for now, this is the only window I'm going to have. So I'm going to have a vent in the back. And a vent in the front. Um, so the vent in the back will let the light in. The vent in the front will just be a fan in there. So another thing I've been toying with it's just constantly what do I go for do I go for that do I go for that do I go for that to got like weeks two weeks or, or more to decide about the baton two by two or two by one two by two or two by one holding it up what do I do? am I going to get away with that am I gonna, it's like constant I mean I'm not a van but I've never built a van before I don't I don't pretend to know what I'm doing whatsoever I'm just sort of a bit of a DIYer really Never built a van. Um, I've been on holidays in motorhomes lots of times when I was younger. Um, so I know a little bit about the function of them and what they like to stay in summer and winter um, and the issues that you can encounter. But um, never built one before, so everything's a little bit strange and a bit new making it up as you go along, 
watching YouTube videos, getting advice off of people, coming up with ideas. And you think, will that work? Or maybe it won't. You know, it's weeks to decide what pattern to have, weeks to decide what window to have, weeks to decide what roof lights to have. And the, the roof lights, again, it's like, I love the, the Max Air fan. It's 300 quid or more. Uh, the Fiamma turbo vent does the same sort of thing. Is almost half that price. The thing I like about the Max Air, when we was talking, talking about the ventilation, having to ventilation when it's raining, it's got a built-in rain cover. You, you never have to have a separate rain cover on it or worry about the rain coming in. Um, if you check it out online, Max Air Deluxe. Um, it'll open and shut in the rain. You can even have it open when you're going along. You know, it's, it's got a lot going for it. And I think I'm going to need that in the summer when it's humid and raining. Um, I think that's the one I'm going to go for. And then a vent in the back. Uh, I didn't know where to go for a little tiny vent or a proper big square roof light just to get airflow front to back. So I think I'm going to go for the bigger roof light, let some light in as well. Um, and that's it really it's me waffling on what am I like 